I'm going to show you how to record video using Flash in a media server. Um, and I've created a utility here that um, you, it's open source. You can view the source code of this. Um, but this is going to explain some of the really subtle things that nobody really, there's no documentation on when recording in Flash. So what I've done here is I'm connecting and disconnecting from the server, change the camera quality to 95% and I'm going to record. I have two cameras hooked up to this computer which is a high-end DV camera and then a, a really low-end um, webcam. So the important thing to look at here is the video stream buffer. Um, and what I've done is I've stopped recording now and I am waiting to close the connection to the media server until this video stream buffer runs out. And this is one of the things that a lot of people don't do is they don't wait for the video stream buffer to empty before closing the connection to the media server. Um, so there it is. Let's play it. <clears throat> so another thing to know is now I'm going to disconnect from the server and I will change the camera to the high-end um, DV camera um, which is hooked up through Firewire. So depending on the camera you're using and the brightness levels your buffer is going to go way up or way down depending on quality it, the buffer is really an unpredictable thing that you just have to monitor and make sure that you don't stop recording until it's back down to um, zero or else you're going to end up with broken FLV files when they're done recording and this is I've done work on this this was true in Flash Media Server as well as in Red 5. I have never tested Wowza, but a lot of this behavior is inherent inside the Flash Media, or sorry, inside the Flash Player, not the media servers. So now what I'm going to do is this. I am not going to wait for that buffer to empty and do a recording with that. So here we go. Stop it. I didn't wait for the buffer to empty. Let's see what our resulting FOB looks like. And that was all it got because the data didn't make it to our full recorded data. never made it from the flash player to the server. So you have an FOB with not a complete recording. So another thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to lower the buffer time on the net stream drastically when recording and by default it's only 0.1 and I'm setting it to 2 here uh, there we go 2 so now watch what happens if you put the buffer time only at 2 you see the buffer is going up it, it's gonna hit 2 and then the player just shoves it and it what it does is it gets rid of video data to try and keep up with that buffer so it's we're actually losing video data because the flash player is throwing it away so watch this when we play this oh we've got a big hole in our FLV and there it is again we got some more video data another hole and there it is again there's a final chunk of data that made it to the media server um, so another thing to realize is in this example I separate the audio and video stream and the audio stream always has transport priority over the video so if you record the two together, you're likely to see huge issues with your video stream because Flash Player is trying to keep the audio stream consistent.